Every day you read or hear from the, particularly the Ottawa press, that Pierre Polyev is a right winger and the liberals are left, conservatives are right. John Capobianco is a big shot conservative. He joins me right now because I want to put the question to you. Has Canadian politics, not with the media, but on the ground, moved beyond, well, they're left wing or they're right wing? Should it not be maybe, you know, well, they're efficient and know what they're doing and these other people don't know what they're doing? I think the traditional meaning of left wing, right wing escapes most Canadians. I think what most Canadians want when they elect a politician is which politician best reflects their values. Who do they think is going to move the country forward, especially at a time like today where we're in severe inflation and economic yeah. troubles? Which government is going to do it? If a government, if a government leader decides that he's going to be more towards you know fiscal responsibility, fiscal spending, the, the Liberals and the NDP will say, "Oh, that's a right wing consideration. You know, we should be spending more money." Well, exactly. That's my but it's point. a question. It's a question of hand up versus hand out, and I think the conservatives always believed that we will give a hand up, but not a hand out. So it's not though. So let's just develop this because when you say values, uh, I know that when liberals say values, I know there's some people writing recently. Oh well, you know, they, in the states, is the abortion issue, or it's or it's whether we should be doing more for you know the unemployed. While this liberal government just came out, they blew 5.3 billion dollars giving it to people who should not have received it. It seems like, and when you say values, value for your money, how about just running the damn government efficiently? Well, I know, and I think the pandemic threw a whole wrench in the system, quite frankly, Stephen. I think what we saw was all governments of all political stripes at all jurisdictions basically saying, we got to give money back to businesses, we've got to give money back. So there was an acceptance of that. The Except question for now, $150 million to some big companies. Or, or companies, or people didn't, didn't, didn't deserve it, or companies right. didn't deserve it. But now the question is, okay, now that it's over, which government and which leader is going to be able to bring some fiscal accountability and responsibility back? And so we're is that a value that. then that the Conservatives want, John, as opposed to the value that the Liberals don't want? Well, it's a value that Conservatives always believe in, is that fiscal responsibility, the individual freedom, the individual ability to be able to do what you do well with your money, as opposed to governments telling you what to do with your money. Okay, because Mr. Trudeau is always saying that we're going to raise the taxes, but we're raising the taxes so we can give money back to people who need it. And that's, you know, that's tax and spend, but is somebody in Ottawa trying to figure out whether in fact somebody, you know, in Comaconk needs it? No, well, remember, this is the prime minister who said that budgets fix themselves. Right? Yeah. And, 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 I don't and, think about monetary policy. Yeah. <laughs> right. He doesn't think about monetary policy, but as we know now, you've got to have a leader who's be able to, has the courage to be able to say, yes, we need to spend money when we do. We also need to bring money back and give money back to Canadians. But also, let's bring some deficit control back into the system. So, will you agree with me that the Conservatives are not a right-wing party? Take the C from Conservatives and say it's a correct party, or it does the right thing. It's the right party for Canadians. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Sean Cavabianco, thank you. Three minutes. When someone comes up to me in the Buckhorn hardware and says, you're Stephen LeDrew, and I go, yeah. He says, I watch you every day because I want to learn what's going wrong in this country. We're doing something right because other people are not reporting things. If you agree, please subscribe and PayPal and enjoy.